Today, a Sanford man took his fight over masks on airplanes back in front of a federal judge. Yeah, he says his four-year-old son with autism needs to fly to Boston next week for medical treatment but can't tolerate wearing a mask. News 6's Mark Lehman has more on the judge's decision. Today's hearing was called to primarily solve one issue, making sure the father's son was able to fly to get the medical treatment he needs. The airlines coming to a temporary agreement, but the father says his fight is far from over. They refuse to grant him mask exemptions. Uh, the child has, uh, her son has autism and he cannot tolerate wearing a face covering. Sanford father Michael Seklecki speaking with us last night about his four-year-old son and the reason a federal judge called an emergency hearing this morning. Seklecki says his son, who is on the autism spectrum, won't wear a mask and wasn't allowed an exemption to fly to Boston next week for specialized medical treatment. He has a signed uh, pediatrician letter stating that he cannot wear a mask and the airline defendants refuse to grant him and allow him even to walk onto the jet bridge of the flight. Seklecki filing a lawsuit against the federal government as well as Southwest and American Airlines. He claims the federal mask mandate discriminates against the disabled. It's stressful dealing with all the medical uh, problems uh, our son has, and it's even worse when um, you can't fly. Today, an attorney said the airlines would allow a written exemption in this case and recommend a 30 day agreement for the child to not wear a mask while on board. The overall lawsuit, however, remains pending in federal court. During today's hearing, the judge said she just wanted to focus on the boy affected in this and not constitutional claims. The airlines listed in this lawsuit previously had until next week to file an objection. That's now been extended to March 2nd. In Orlando, Mark Lehman, Getting Results, News 6.